Okay, my name is Jane McCorkle. I'm a lecturer in horticulture and landscape design in ITB. I live in Kilsallahan, which sort of crosses the border between Fingal and Meath. Um, so I'm, you know, just literally on the border. I was at secondary school. Everybody seemed to be going to do secretarial work, our secretarial college, and I didn't want to be inside. I wanted to be outside. Um, I liked art. I liked crafts more than painting and things like that. So I decided I wanted to do horticulture and I went to the UK and I did a degree in horticulture at an agricultural based college, so it was called Rittle. And then I did a year's work experience as an apprentice gardener with the RHS, um, and I, that was four years. So I, I worked in horticulture on the physical element of horticulture for a few years and then decided that I would like to do something a little bit more creative than the, you know, the manual labor part of horticulture. I think that's what makes it so much more interesting. Um, they sometimes they talk about landscape being about it's called form and fabric, you know. So, landscape is not a blank canvas, and people's gardens are never a blank canvas. Or people's, you know. So I, I do all sorts of things, from small gardens to large gardens to big gardens in the countryside, rural gardens, or even a public space. It's never on its own. There's always things around it that you have to take into consideration. Why do I do it? Um, why do I do landscape design or horticulture? Well, why do I do I love plants. I absolutely love flowers. <laughs> uh, the house is covered in flowers. You have to be able to express yourself. If you're a creative person, you have to be able to express yourself in some way. I'm very lucky that I had very good education in horticulture and, um, and I enjoy the physical element of it. Um, horticulture is one of those things that if somebody is involved in it from a career, it has to be a passion, okay? And if you're a creative person, you need to be able to express it. And that's why I do it, because I enjoy it so much. It's, it's in you. Right? And it's not that if it's not in you, it's not a fault. It's just that people are so different. So if you have that in you, then you're, you, go, you have to express it. I have lots of different hobbies. So if I was to think of, I'm a woman who when it comes to, when I come to retirement, I'm gonna have loads of things to do. Between cycling and patchwork quilting and gardening, yeah, you know, I'm gonna embrace them all but they have to have a social element to them so that you can enjoy them. So I think for gardening to become, you know, part of, uh, of, of people, or for people to become creative in gardening, if there was a social element of it. I've noticed, um, I opened my garden to the public in June, and you get these uh, groups that come in, you know, garden clubs, and it, everybody's over the age of 50 or 60, and I think it's very sad that horticulture, I know people maybe my age and younger, they haven't got time, right? Uh, or they, they, they're, they're, they don't want to go because they think it's all older people. But to get people into it, we need to get younger people in and it needs to have a social element. So vast, isn't it, Fingal? You know, they, like, there's so much of everything. Uh, you've got Ballybockle and the Knoll where you've got the hills and then you go over to the coast and you've got the coastline the whole way along there it's very beautiful and um, so it does yeah and there's all oh, they have some fabulous uh, gardens and fabulous estates I think actually they're very progressive in that term between linking horticulture and linking tourism together and and the, all those different elements they're trying to encourage people you know into it and they do provide very good spaces for people to be inspired by nature. Uh, what am I working on at the moment? Well, we're working on the Blanchardstown IT and Fingal Urban, or what's it called, Green Infrastructure uh, Bloom Garden. I'm working on a garden in Kerry and I'm going down on the train tomorrow. Uh, and we're working on, we've got, uh, we've got some planning application drawings that, uh, which I'm delighted that have to be done now. So when people decide they're building apartment blocks that they actually have to provide landscape for people living in around them. Creativity is an expression of yourself.